Welcome back to another episode of the Trash Talk Podcast. Uh, we are going to discover some new hobbies today. JJ is wearing his Saints hoodie. He is as proud as can be. Uh, you're gonna see I him like doing. It. You're gonna see him doing this a lot, a lot, the entire time because he's gonna try. He's gonna strafe it out, show it off as cleanly as possible. Nah, he's most probably gonna be sitting like this. Yeah, yeah. He, he's gonna. It's, he's. It's, it becomes a habit. I've. I've been there. I know. I know what it's like. So this one too, by the way, pushing up. Such a habit. I always do that. A whole all the time, constantly. Like. Yeah, look for it. I guarantee you, like five times during the podcast, you're gonna be see me doing. doing if this. anything, what I do is usually I'll just because my arm will slide back and I'll just pull it up again. Right. But the higher up, the better. <laughs> what? No. Yeah, I wish there wasn't any sleeves on there at all. I, I, I'm at some point I'm gonna, I'm gonna get. But then the seventy two wouldn't be on there anymore. That's true. Yeah, that that is true. I'm gonna put it somewhere else though. No, I need to find. I have some, a jersey number on there. I need to find me some hoodies without a, a, a sleeve. But um, without two sleeves. Either. No, we're gonna learn some new hobbies today, uh, and we have a list. On my cellular telephone uh, that is connected to the worldwide internet, and uh, we are going to be looking at some hobbies that that worldwide internet suggests, and uh, we're going to debate on whether we like those or not, and how we would um, fare. WWI, the w- worldwide internet. <laughs> yeah, wwi.internet.com. <laughs> that someone needs to make that. All right. How about this? One? I'm gonna I'm gonna put these because there's a hundred of them. I'm gonna put some of them together into into a sort of a. a bundle because the first ones no we're gonna go through 100 points right now well the first ones are hiking and backpacking i feel like those are very similar and i'm also gonna sausage hike yeah i'm also gonna add on camping hunting and fishing with that as a bundle um um is what they suggest well hiking as a hobby no i'm 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 good with the annual sausage hike that's uh sufficient and um camping maybe every now and again but not as a regular thing and hunting fishing no i would tend to agree with most of what you said hiking less so than just camping i like to have a base camp and just hang out like we did this summer for example rather than hiking a lot like where every day you're going to be on this the road what I'm saying, right? like the... i do it like for like day trips but um so i'm saying like i take like one hike a year and that's yeah. pretty much all i need yeah but hunting fishing i do I told I, I do the wilderness survival stuff like camping if we're gonna camp we might as well hunt fish right I, I totally get into that. Why not? Fishing can be very relaxing. Hunting can be the opposite of relaxing. That's the thing, right? Fishing sounds very boring. I like fishing. Dude, I mean, if you're going to just camp to hang out and chill, I mean, you know, then you might as well... Can't be quiet. Don't want to scare the fish. You might as well sit around and fish. So, yeah, I, I, I totally would do that. Camping, yes. Hiking, not quite so much. Uh, fishing goes with that for sure. And maybe, maybe hunting. I don't know. I, fishing is probably less... It's probably simpler, so I'd prefer fishing. I would have to say. Uh, all right. How about um, how about archery? That could go with hunting See, um, or fishing, depending on how good you are. <laughs> um, the thing is, um, I have already made my decision on that one, and I ended up going with no. Uh, uh, were you an archer once? No. Um, my parents both did archery, mm. and they did get me a bow at some point, mm. but I just wasn't very interested in it. All right, really. Uh, I I wouldn't do it as like a major thing, but I think I think it's it. It's fine. I, I do it. I prefer it over like going to a shooting range and, and, and firing guns for fun. Yes. Because it's just more relaxing. So I. Both over guns for sure. But, yeah. Um, I, I would I, I would do that. Not as like a professional sport, nothing competitive, but maybe just as a fun thing. I, I might. Pretty sure we still got some archery trophies around the house yeah, somewhere. Not bad. Oh, so you have some good archers in the house. William Tell all over. <laughs> not bad. Uh, how about. Okay, this is all. This all kind of goes together. Canoeing and kayaking. Boat no. stuff. Uh, as a main thing, probably not so much. I prefer bigger ships over small boats. Okay, yeah. I take a trip. How about how about paddling in a boat on on like a pond full oh, of algae? That was amazing. <laughs> that was a fun story. I wish Sergey was here to discuss that. No, but that was uh, yeah. I do that, but like I would not go to the lengths of buying a canoe in order to go to rivers and just canoe down rivers. Uh, if it was like part of a camping trip, I'd do it, but uh, not as a, as a general thing. Uh. Let's see. Let, let me see. How about growing vegetables and flowers? Maybe vegetables. Definitely not flowers. Now um, flowers are useless. With exactly. Uh, um, if I if I were to also garden, I'm literally allergic to like all sorts of flowers, probably. Um, no uh, gardening. Yes, maybe, but practically probably would end up not doing it. But it's not that I'm entirely uninterested. Uh, it's it's nice to you know have your own source yeah, of food for sure. Uh, I might do. Uh, I might. But um, also, that's it, it. Feels like that seems just like one of those hobbies that you do 
when you're not doing anything else anymore. Like, you're retired sort of thing, right? Yeah. You're retired and you get, like, a house with an actual garden, too. Because by far not everyone has that anymore these days. Uh, and then you can just do that. But also small time. I wouldn't want to be, like, a, a major farmer where you have yeah, to no, get up uh, four in the morning and no. work for 18 hours. But so, that's not what they're talking about when they're saying yeah, hobby. No, <laughs> no if, if I'm growing stuff, I'm also growing useful stuff. So only edible plants exactly. or, or smokable plants. Just kidding. Um, no, no, maybe. I don't know. There's money to be made there. There's money to be made. I don't know. Not legally, yeah. but, you know. L- I'm, listen, it's an unexplored Listen, it's an unexplored business for the most part. If it's ever legalized, I'm not going to get into the business of smoking it, but I, I'm, I'm never going to I'm never gonna exclude any sort of trading business. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I, I grow like vegetables, but uh, but not flowers. Flowers are useless for the most part. How about bird watching? No, no. <laughs> that's what you do when you're not only retired, but you've been dead for seventy years. Like that's how old you have to be to, to be bird watching. I, I don't. Know. I don't, honestly, I never understood that too much. I don't. I don't see the appeal. Just watch it. I mean, if you're at least like a researcher, like you catch him and you tag him and you do some research or something, but just. Sitting there with, like, binoculars? They're, 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 they're counting them, yeah, basically. just that's Looking at birds? Yeah, I don't know. That seems weird. Metal detecting. That's a hobby? Of course it's a hobby. Oh, right, yeah. These people running yeah. around the beach with the metal detectors, yeah. trying to find major, major pirate treasures. Trying predators. to find old Coke cans, yeah. Yeah, all they find is cans, yeah. No. Um, see, if, if, that, if that was... <laughs> If the, if the success rate was a little better, <laughs> maybe I'd do it. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. Uh, because I, I couldn't start a hobby like metal detecting without having the intent of profit there. And then mm-hmm. I do it for one day and see that there's really no profit to be made. So I give hey, it up if, really quickly. If those cans aren't too rusty, they're 25 cents a pop. Uh, not everywhere, but, but in, right Europe, here. in Europe they are. Uh, but yeah, no. Uh, then I can just dig through trash. I don't need to buy a $500 metal detector. Yep. So not going to happen. Not going to happen for me. Uh, LARPing, life action role playing. Thank you. I knew what that meant, but oh, <laughs> I didn't. I had to read it. What's LARPing mean? Have we have we at least mentioned that before on on the podcast? I feel like we've mentioned LARPing. It, 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 it LARPing ranges from Dungeons and Dragons to medieval reenacting and cowboys, cowboy action shooting. Uh, so the thing about LARPing, great, is that I personally never been that interested in it because of the whole effort that goes Don't into it. Don't you play Dungeons and Douchebags? Dungeons and Dragons is not LARPing. That's why I, that's why I shook my head. Why is it not LARPing? It says LARPing. Live action role playing, generally speaking, means you dress up in a costume and you. That's how I imagine people pretend. actually play Dungeons and Dragons for real for you, not just rolling dice. They have like a board and they have pieces and they they dress up like wizards and stuff. I mean, the board and pieces is uh, very common. The dressing up, not so much. Um, but yeah, person prefer tabletop role playing over live action role playing. Mm. Uh, it's, it but, ranges from Dungeons and Dragons to medieval reenacting and stuff. So you, you could turn D and D into into yes, uh, you could larping. So LARP it from that, loosely so. uh, based on D and D. Yes, but again, larping itself, I've never been that interested in. It's definitely something I would do once or something, but it's not something that I would want to do as like a regular hobby. I, I'd rather shoot um, myself, honestly. Again, ah. tabletop role playing is uh, pretty much where it is for me. Like, uh, even that's super boring to me and then like having to dress up like a wizard and stuff and probably like speak speak off of a script and all and it's not even like a theatrics it's just you... well you wouldn't have a strict script that's kind of the point but <sighs> um but yeah you would have to be in character for yeah sure. no that's that's the worst i i would not want to do that at all uh how about let's let's see here sandcastle making <laughs> See, it's I, a hobby if you're, what, five years old? See, yeah, I, I, I flipped no. over the list real quick before. I didn't look at every point. This one I didn't see when I looked at see, it. See, the thing okay. is, I, I can see how that's one of those things where you can do that at any given level, pretty much. Like, as a, as a small kid, yeah. like, those cats are going to be pretty crappy, but... Bucket, sand, flip it over, done. Yeah. Uh, no, but I that's one of those things where artsy people will be able to do that on, do like, incredible levels People well. make for real art with that stuff. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Artists make art with pretty much whatever the fuck. They'll be sitting them. there all day on one one sandcastle. They'll use like spe- specific sand and like water mixtures and like they turn it into clay basically, and then they they, they really build stuff out of that. I would Honestly, not want to do at, that. At the point where we're where we're dealing with clay, I'd rather do pottery because at least you're getting something. You're getting a pond out of it. <laughs> you're getting yeah. a pond that you can use. Yeah. Uh, but no. Uh, generally, most of the artistic stuff, yeah, I'm just not good yeah. with it. Also, although sandcastles in general, I probably wouldn't be that interested in probably something like again pottery. Sculpting, something where we actually have yeah. something permanent, even even like drawing or like painting, 
way more than like sand castles or mm-hmm. ice sculptures or the, like the non permanent stuff. Again, I can see the appeal of it. Yeah, but it's just not my cup of tea. Stamp or, collecting. Well, coffee one. Um, no, I I, I tried that Philatelic. once, but no. You tried stamp collecting? Yeah. yeah boy. I also got a few stamps laying around somewhere, but the problem is if you want to actually get the really, like... The rare ones? Yeah, that's just how expensive. It's a lot of money. Yeah, those are expensive, and I, no, I don't want to stamp collect. Um, how about, let's see, uh, well, art collecting. Okay, let, let's, I guess let's talk about collecting in general, uh, because you don't need to list every possible collectible item because yeah um collecting stuff in general <laughs> as value items i don't necessarily like that much i personally then would prefer the whole trading aspect of it uh, yeah which of course um for stuff like cards for example exists very much where you're not necessarily a collector you can also just be someone who like buys yeah. and sells and tries to it go to market. Just like all those mom and pop shops and antiquity traders and stuff. Uh, the only collecting that I personally am interested in is stuff that effectively has some degree of use. Like, I am have, like... Dice. Card decks. Yeah. Mm, le- yeah, but, like, I have um, all sorts of D&D books, for example, right? You could argue that's a collection. Yeah. But I'm not People just... People collect books, comics and stuff. Yeah, yeah, but it's not like I'm collecting them to put them on a shelf somewhere. No, to read them. Obviously. That's, so... Yeah. Fair enough. I also have a I don't want to say sizable comic collection because anyone who legitimately collects will look at it and laugh. But um, <laughs> I do have a I do have a couple of comics laying around as well. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, there's so many. There's dude record collection, postcard collection. Again, that, that's like, that's why I wanted to talk about shoe collecting. Oh yeah, the fucking sneakers. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, that's why I wanted to talk about as one topic. Sne- sneaker heads, man. People who collect I, shoes to put them on a shelf. I don't get it. But. I mean, I, on the one hand, the, on the level where I, I get collection as a hobby in general, but sneaker seems like a very arbitrary thing. Rock collecting. Well, I had a rock in my wallet for a while, uh, but that was more as a gag than anything else. Really. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's why I said, like, let's do collection as one hobby and just yeah. go on to the next one. How about how about cooking bacon and gingerbread house making? <laughs> Is it literally listed as... Back to back. Oh, those are just <laughs> three. Okay. Um, no to the gingerbread house. Um, cooking and baking... Yes, actually. Um, I don't really do it as much as I cooking should. Cooking or baking? Probably cooking. Probably cooking, right? Yeah. Uh, I would agree. Um, cooking is a useful skill. Very useful. Because yeah. at one point in your life, most likely, you are going to live by yourself. Yes. You have to expect that. So you you better be able to not starve. Is is And that's not a very high standard, by the way. Yeah, no. That's, that's what I'm saying. Like, cooking, like, not on, like, a profession level or anything, where it's like, like, yeah. and if everything's, like, perfect and stuff, but TV yeah, chef, like, no. some some basic uh, yeah. cooking is definitely something that I... Be able I... to not burn the cereal, basically. Rely on <laughs> it. Um, it's something that I'm, I'm working on to some degree, but, I'm again, I'm not doing it as much yeah. as I probably should. But, um, maybe not as a, specifically as a hobby, but I would want to cook for myself on a semi-regular basis. Yeah, would, um, would agree. That, yeah. I, I, exactly what JJ said. Um, how about, uh, let's, let's see here. <laughs> <laughs> it's not terrible. How about painting, drawing, origami? Uh, I would love to be able to draw better. I just... I know it's to some degree an acquired skill. Yeah, you can learn that. But I also don't have very great fine motor skills to begin with. Yeah. Um, which, of course, plays into that. Yeah, it does. I've, I've always been a little jealous of people that are really good at drawing. And, again, it's something that I would love to be able to do. But, I, I on the one hand, I want to be able to do it. But on the other hand, I don't want to... Put in all the actual ex- actual work from someone with like literally no talent to actually be yeah. able to do it at a decent degree. But, so, but hey, if if I mean if you want to do it, you can definitely learn. It's not like that's forever locked up for you. Yeah, but that's the thing, right? Like other people do it with less effort, and if I could yeah. do it, like almost as a kind of a natural thing, yeah. I would totally do it all the time. At least like on the side and stuff like that. But I, to me, that's not really a criteria. I want that that should be like argued on, right? Like. Oh, I, I'm more naturally talented, thereby I have to pursue it. No, I'm, if I'm, I'm not saying, talented, I can't pursue it. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if and people I were, tend, tend towards that, but... I if I know. were more talented at it, I would do it. But I also don't necessarily... I, I probably should get into that somewhat, but I... Yeah. You know what you're relatively talented at? Talking around a point and not getting to a point? Chess. All right. From what I've seen so far, you're relatively talented, get into it. But yeah, drawing, painting, not so much for me. Um, I, uh, I know it's 
it's just stereotypically boring. I don't know. I, I I don't think I don't think I would like it. Same for like photography and stuff. Photography also never interested me. Interestingly enough, um, I I literally am the one. I'm, I'm the person who who go on a trip and not take a single photo. All right, I've done I mean, that before. I mean, uh, on like trips, like when we were camping or something, I'll take like a picture if there's something nice to be taken a picture of. But photography is also like I literally didn't take a single picture when we were in Florence. Yeah, well, I did. But uh, photography also not really just like the tourist type of photography, no, I, but I the artsy type, yeah. like huddling around a, uh, a a squirrel's nest for three hours to wait to get the perfect shot, sort of thing. Yeah, um, that's not me. But again, like the drawing thing is appealing, but everything else on that mm. list not really. That All right, much. how about calligraphy? No, 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 no. I do have to. I should probably improve my handwriting a little bit. Yeah, but, but not, not like, like calligraphy. Not like penmanship uh, no. calligraphy. That's that's too much. Okay, how about let's let's look, let's let's knock this whole thing out. Crocheting, knitting, embroidery, carpet, and tapestry weaving. Probably not, but um, I'm not exactly categorically opposed to it. This is one that I'm categorically opposed to. Actually, <laughs> I you, honestly, uh, this topic started. Because sewing came up. Because sewing came up, yeah. And uh, I stated that I'm not only not not only am I not interested in that sort of thing, but I am actively disinterested in it. So sewing seems like a uh, to some degree at least a, like a useful. skill. It's a as useful well. skill, but like I don't nah, I don't want to do it. I there's no. Uh, if I had all the time on my hands, that that's the last thing like that I would get into uh, into working on. It it sounds. Ah, uh, oh, it sounds so degree, boring. Uh, to some degree, it sounds sensible. I, I probably wouldn't do it, especially because also it's one of those things where uh, you have to put in the time, and you know I've got other things I'd rather do. But it's uh, just it's what every grandmother ever does. But I don't want to do it. It's nah, it's, ah, terrible, so boring. Okay, I, we already talked about pottery, but pottery <laughs> is uh, um again, is generally most. speaking, um, better than most of the other stuff in the similar field because it's useful. Yeah, but again, generally speaking, probably not really that interested in it. Yeah. How about wood or metal working? No, not really. I mean, to a, again, to a, to a similar degree as I said, where it's like, it's better than all of the, like, temporary stuff, yeah. but... Um, I like this more than some of the other stuff, because you can know. just make useful st- useful stuff, too, right? Well, yeah, but when you need a spear, you're probably mostly gonna make figurines, right? I mean, you, I mean, you can you can make useful stuff if you're a wood and metal worker. You can make you you can make you some bowls. You can make your own cut wooden cutlery. You know, you can make pots and pans. You can, one day you gotta repair your door, your door frame. Right? You can do it. You know? The door would, would I think fall more like uh, would like carpentry or something more than uh, if it's like a wooden door. If it's like a wooden door frame. Yeah, but like woodworking, that's not necessarily exactly what they mean by that. But yeah, you could make like bird houses and stuff. Yeah, you could you could for yard sales. I, I wouldn't. That's that's something at least. Uh, I don't hate it. Uh, all right, the whole we don't have to even talk about the whole video games, board games, card games stuff, right? I do all three. Yeah, they list chess separately for board games. By the way, I don't know. How about puzzles, as in jigsaw puzzles or Sudoku? Uh, jigsaw puzzles, no, 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 no. I don't like jigsaw puzzles, honestly. Um, I I like Sudoku, yeah. Uh, I don't do it... I haven't done it in a while, really, but I do like Sudokus, yeah. Uh, both of them I'm not not opposed to, to, but I'm also not... I don't like them as much that I would go out of my way to take the time that I don't really have to, to pursue. Still have a Sudoku calendar around here somewhere. But here's the important point. Jigsaw puzzling is so much better than Sudoku. What? No! Yeah! If I, if, if like, if I have to do, like, some type of those puzzles, I do jigsaw puzzles. Sudoku, that's terrible. That's much, much more boring than, like, I'd, I'd much rather have a jigsaw puzzle put together. That's that's much more interesting than than a Sudoku. Or the, this jigsaw puzzle is all, always just like searching for the correct piece, putting yeah. the piece, searching for the next piece. I don't I don't hate that like, at all. Sudoku at least has some mental gymnastics. That, gymnastics might, that might be my favorite type of puzzle. I got mental gymnastics and chess enough. I like I I do I do a, a jigsaw puzzle because it's it's more relaxing in a way. I I would look at this as and it is a more relaxing thing. If I knew where that Sudoku calendar was, I would have totally just pulled it up and. And got out a pen here right now, just demonstratively doing a Sudoku on the Alright, how about genealogy? Wait. That's basically researching your family tree down generations. I, I, generations I was about to say generations. genealogy as in, like, yeah, genetic yeah. analysis? Yeah, genetic analysis. The, uh, no, no. 
the thing is, I don't suspect much of very high interest. Uh, because if, if you were like, um, say you were like half Hawaiian quarter Vietnamese qu- quarter, uh, um, Inuit living in uh, Malaysia, then there might be some interesting stuff going on, right? But uh, first of all, how how lo- how far traceable is it? You have you have to think. Um, yeah, I think uh, in parts my family tree is actually relatively well traced because someone uh-huh. else in my ancestry actually has done it before. All right. Uh, but yeah, my my roots are European. There is yeah. uh, see that's, that's like, the, there's some yeah. distant French, some not as distant Italian. Like uh-huh. there's like it's just. As all Europeans end up yeah. being like a mixed European ancestry. Yeah. That's I just... think, as far as I know, no no alive relative has any sort of idea about the like origin, so to speak. But I suspect that it would have to just be generations of German villager, German villager, <laughs> German villager until we get anywhere. Which I suspect it might be like a Slavic background, distant, distant, like far back. But I, I don't know, no idea. And so for me, it wouldn't interest me as much as maybe for other people even. But then again, I'm not invested, so. Yeah, I, like, mm. the whole researching ancestry seems kind of like a boring thing. It's something that you do at some point in your life if you have nothing else to do, but it's not going to yield insane results. I'm generally not a big fan of researching, like, categorically for anything, really. Mm. I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Language learning. Yes. Yes. How many languages have you learned, aside from the two basic ones that you already know, JJ? Ah. Programming languages don't count. <laughs> I like using programming languages when people are yeah. languages. Yeah, no, um, I I do speak fluent uh, German and English. I yeah. think at least one of those two is evident from this channel. Mm-hmm. Um, German. <laughs> yeah, our our English is also unironically better at, than our German at this. Point. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna even deny that necessarily. Um, I I'm definitely have always been interested in learning languages, but the problem is. I've never really got myself to actively do it for like more than a week or two at a time. The problem is that it's, and you need a lot of time to actually make it. You happen. need a lot of time to do it, and uh, and um, if you don't have a lot of time in bulk, it's gonna take a long time. Well, yeah, but it's. I think it's recommended actually to only do do it for like half an hour to an hour a day. Yeah. But then do it every day rather than doing it for like ten hours a day and then not doing it for two weeks. Yeah. Um, fair enough. So. Fair enough. Spreading it out is actually very sensible. Yeah, so uh, I'm also I'm trying to learn some Russian. I'm still in the process of that, which is one of the more difficult ones to learn because it's different alphabet and stuff. Well, it's one of the more difficult ones to learn as for someone us. who is for only us, known yeah. a Germanic language. For yeah. us, so it's like, I think it's level four for us, which is like the second second hardest level. So that's pretty tough. Level what, what, what is the highest of all the other further Asian the, stuff? Yeah, the the highest level is like the uh, is like um, Chinese and, yeah. and Japanese those those sort of things because it's completely different again. I assume Mandarin is easier than Cantonese, right? I think so, but... Because but I think they're... isn't Mandarin literally simplified Chinese yeah, and yeah, yeah. Cantonese is traditional, traditional Chinese. Chinese? But Chinese, I think they're probably yeah. still all in the highest level for I mean, they're also us. 80% mutually intelligible, so that... Germanic, uh, Anglo-Saxon language origins, or Romanic origins. Uh, but yes, generally, language learning, yes. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna be like a translator who knows 15 languages by the end of my life, but... See, I would wanna, but I also know that I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do that much. I might if I'm never gonna do that beyond like a hobby just for fun. I I might learn some. I might tr- hopefully try to be decent in Russian. Maybe I'll I'll get up on the Spanish, French, Italian again. Maybe a little bit, but n- not not like I have big a time. list. You have a list. Well, how, well, how did, how did well it um, you know how there's six official UN languages. Oh, that I lowkey want to I lowkey want to be able to speak all of them. That would be great. I do currently speak one, so uh, that's English. English. Uh, there's also Germany. Fre- German isn't one because we we had a hey, we had a bunch of whoopsies in, in world <laughs> history. So, um, well, it's, it's we're also still not allowed to own nuclear weapons. Not that we should, but just there. French, Spanish, Russian, Chinese. I, I think it, I think I think it says Chinese. I don't think it says Mandarin. I'm not sure. Arabic. Uh, and Arabic, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Arabic and Chinese are gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, for sure. I, I, I don't think I want to do Chinese or Arabic, actually. I would do... I, I just do Russian, basically, because I just like it. And see, the, the thing is, I know which one I'm going to do... Which one I'm... French. technically kind of started on, and then I'm, I'm going to do next. Yeah, it's French. It's French because, um... A... The, fa- the basics are there. I've still got some of the basics from mm-hmm. school, uh, as much as I did actively repress some of that. Um, and also... Maybe it's gonna be the end up being the more useful one of those. Maybe in the... yeah. You don't know. Russian could be useful at some point. Yeah, 
maybe. Uh, but yeah, um, I, I probably won't do it very seriously, just, just as sort of like a hobby. All right, how about creative writing, journaling, or book clubs? Yes. Um, creative writing is something that has always interested me, as opposed to scientific writing, which I don't like at all, interestingly enough. That's weird. Um, creative writing always interested me. I've never gotten around to doing it to such a degree where there was any usable product, really. Um, we actually had an entire talk yeah, about Yeah, yeah, we did. Because um, we started to write a book. I like writing, but I, the thing is, I never structured out enough in advance to mm-hmm. the point where I'll just try telling a story from the beginning and then I just get stuck, which, you know, writer's block is common, but of course, the way I approach the subject is not very optimal. Mm-hmm. I haven't done it in a while. Um, Should do it again. So writing, definitely interesting. I'm not actually opposed to the idea of book clubs, generally speaking. Uh, it's because... At the end of the day, that just means, first of all, reading is a hobby that I also am definitely not putting as much time into as I should. Um, and second of all, that then, yeah, discussing stories that, discussing the books. Uh, that you've experienced is something that I do to some degree not about books as much. But, you know, I have friends with whom I talk about, like, TV shows that we watch and movies that we watch and that kind of stuff. So the idea of meeting on a regular basis to discuss something from a certain medium... Yeah. That I would want to explore more, anyways, um, is not necessarily a bad idea. See, when I think book clubs, I can't, I can't help but think about that scene in Family Guy when, uh, when Lois is sitting there with like four other moms, and it's like, "Oh, hey, Peter, come join our book club," and he just is like, "Oh, okay," and instantly breaks his neck on the spot. <laughs> that's that's kind of what I I always associate that. See, idea. the thing is, because book clubs is like the stereotypical boring thing. Yeah, also, also book clubs is the stereotypical like uh thing that like middle aged women do. Yeah, like, that's. That yeah. is the stereotypical audience there, yeah. Yeah, book clubs. Um, I doubt, again, it doesn't That's sound that a joke in every single show. Every, I don't know, man. I, uh, I don't... I, I don't. like books. I, I'm not a huge fan of clubs, but, you know... Um, yeah, n- I don't know about book clubs, man. I'm, uh, by the way, for me, creative writing is a no-no. I don't want to do that. I don't want to write creatively. I don't really want to write big stuff, bigger types of things anyway. But if I had to, scientific, <laughs> not, not creative. Like... Oh yeah, the longest thing I like to write are tweets. Tweets, yeah. <laughs> that's well, what you get. character limit. That's perfectly. That, that's perfect. That's perfect for me. <laughs> Great boundary. Mm-hmm. See, I, I like writing stories. I think I, personally, for me, I should probably uh, start writing, if anything, short stories because that yeah. uh, lends itself probably more to my writing style as well. Yeah. Like Poe. Um, I Poe has written a lot of short stories. Honestly, I think the thing I would want to write most, but also. Again, doesn't really work too well with my writing style is um, comics, but comics are written kind of similar to movie scripts in mm-hmm. a way because you do have to kind of describe the visuals in a way that the artist can then draw them. Right. Um, which I tend to write stories as like actual like text as like prose, you know, um, not as like dialogue and scene establishment like like a theater or yeah. a movie script. Um, I'd read some short stories if you wrote them. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I have to do that again. Yeah. The something. diamond bug. It's like the gold bug, but you're going to claim it's better. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but sure. The gold bug is by is a story by Poe. Oh. So you oh. could be like, oh yeah, it's better. It's more valuable. Fact. Playing an instrument. I gave up on that one too. <laughs> you had you were playing, the, you played the drums one, yeah, right? Yeah, I still have a drum set uh, right. on the attic, but... Uh, I st- I'm still not opposed to the idea of playing an instrument, but the thing is, I'm very, I'm just bad at it talent-wise. So that's sort of the thing with drawing for you. I'm not very good at it, I'm not talented at it, so it would have to be something very, very simple. But, like, I would have a lot of trouble picking up a full-fledged guitar, for example. That's the thing for me, too. Um, I played the drums for a while, but I just was never really any good at it. All right. And uh, so yeah, that kind of fell apart. And, and I do come from a musical background, by the way. I don't, I don't really have an excuse. I don't know why I didn't inherit any sort of talent, but um, I, I'm not very good at it. And uh, if I had to, I'd, I'd still prefer like a string instrument, but it'd have to be like a like a ukulele or something very, very simple. Like I think ukulele is about the simplest instrument, well, respectable instrument, um, not like a triangle. I was about to say triangle. No. no. Like, the, one of the simplest instruments to pick up. So that would have to probably be where it starts and probably also where it ends. I don't know. Podcast hosting. No, no. Never, 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 never. never. never going to happen. <laughs> awful. Uh, all right, let's see. <laughs> oh, okay, let's... let's uh, we're ending it soon, but there's a couple more. Makeup. No. You want to be Freddie Mercury? Well, makeup doesn't necessarily mean doing it to yourself. As a matter of fact, more likely than not, it means doing it to mm, others. Yeah. Um... I don't think... Is that better or worse? I don't know. Well, I mean, uh, 
better probably. But um, because you don't have to wear it. But still, I I don't think it will be something that would particularly interest me. Uh, Survivalist prepping, and that's the last point on this list. No. No, you don't want to survive. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's the whole philosophy. I definitely do not. Uh, maybe, I don't know. That's sort of one of the things I wouldn't do for a hobby more than for, like, absolutely unironically seriously because I think it's pretty likely that it might be important one day. Yeah, like, the point where you can afford to have your own bunker, I guess you might as well get one. The day, I'm, the day I can afford to have a bunker, I'm getting a bunker and 20 years of, of uh, canned food in there because the chances that I'm going to need all that stuff and during... Honey. And 20 years worth of books. During my lifetime is not very small. So, yes. No, books? I don't know. Books? I guess, secondly... Maybe. Yeah, maybe some, but... Uh, the thing is, uh, you have to you have to have something... Because you can't have a battery that stores 20 years worth of power, so... Mm. You can't have anything that requires I'll power. Have, I'll have a hamster and a wheel. Making all the electricity. <laughs> yeah, because a hamster's gonna last you long. I have several hamsters. They can reproduce and make more hamsters. Oof. It, that's dude. That's a great idea. You 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 <laughs> you, you, you got that. Then I take up that much space. You got twenty or like however many time much time you need to get worth of food. You got twenty hamsters. That's gonna be enough generation of hamsters to last to give you power for your entire life. That's a. I, I think I think that's that's I think that's actually genius. I think that idea is waterproof. Let me know in the comments. But I think that's that's awesome, actually. I think I should. But your bunker better be waterproof. <laughs> the bunker be waterproof, man. Because that's. I mean, that's the biggest threat, right? Um, irradiated water. Yeah. After you've survived the initial um, yeah. blastings there. Yeah. Uh, the water. If we're if we're talking about if we're talking about war bunker, yes. But generally, for all if if it's just a huge natural catastrophe, meteor impact, and uh, and all the seas explode, and then and, and everything gets flooded, you still have water. Uh, and you don't want you don't want that. So, but yeah, uh, survivalist prepping probably not as a hobby though, but IRL for real, for real. Uh, but you have to have the money for it. So because imagine like oh yeah, you 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 spend years and years prepping your bunker, put every single cent into it, and then never anything fucking happens. Imagine that. Again, it's one of those things where you're sitting there like fifty years later, like where's the bombs, man? Come on. Where paranoia doesn't really hurt you that much if no. you can afford it. It's like I might as well have a bunker and don't need it, then not have it when I do need yeah. it. Yeah. But then again, it, it would suck if nothing that's, happens. That's what I'm saying. You can only do it if if the um the investment is more or less trivial for you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If, yeah, exactly. If you have the money, if I if I can afford like a full house and everything, I'll make sure there's a bunker there too. There's a, there there we got we we got it for sure. That definitely. But yeah, that's that's something that's that's a luxury good. Just, just get um just get a house with a big basement. That happens to be bombproof, <laughs> and just use it as a regular basement. Basically. We also have the the stuff there, so yeah, it's useful either way. Basically, yeah, yeah, something like that. But yeah, that's not really a, a hobby. So uh, that's the that's the first topic. Bunch of hobbies. Uh, after discussing this, are you going to pick up any new hobby? Um, and if if so, what would it be? Well, honestly, this has mostly reminded me of the stuff that I should be doing, but am not. Like you got to got to get on learning uh, languages, reading, reading chess learning again, languages. Yeah. Chessman, yeah, and uh, creative writing. Like, the... don't. I literally have a stack of books here, which I'm exactly halfway through, and I haven't been making progress in the, that, in the yeah. last couple of. Yeah, the mark is exactly halfway through the second book. It's true. Don't yeah. get up and pick him up. Don't do it. We we know that it's true. Oh, for Christ's sake, David! Don't don't knock off the monitor and everything. Okay, it's called City of Ashes. There's also City of Bones and City of Glass. Yes, and there is two more that I don't have right now, but um, I might buy once I am actually like a decent way through the third one because I really don't have. There's also items. City of. Uh, yes, um, it's City of Lost Souls and City of Fallen Angels. I don't know in which order those two go relative to one another, but very predictable. I think I don't know. If yeah, um, that is the um, Mortal this... Instrument series of the Shadow Hunters uh, series. Uh, there's cities also off. the... Um, the are they all sitting in different devices. cities or in the same city? Um, well, they all take place in multiple cities at the end of the day, but um, yeah. not specifically one per book, no. Okay. Let's hop into the halftime show. We've talked about hobbies for a while. Let me click on this quiz. You know what's yeah. also every grandma's hobby? Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, let's uh, let's hop into this, right? I mean... 
crosswords. Uh, if you've seen last time we did a crossword, we sucked at it badly. It was terrible. Um, that was really, really bad. So we are trying to redeem ourselves just a little bit. Um, with this one here, so let's let's do it. What's the theme for this one anyway? Uh, elements. Elements. Uh, Brave right. the elements is the name. Ah, uh, Brave and the elements. A lot of those just literally ask you for element number so and so, and you have to know it. If you don't know your periodic table, you probably will have to just wait till you have a letter. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So element number thirty. Do you know the periodic table? Do you have it in mind? Um. Well, element number thirty would have to be in the like third or fourth row. I'm uh, not sure. Well, yeah, I was thinking more in which group. I, oh, the problem yeah. is I don't know when the middle part starts exactly. Yeah. Because the first one is just uh, it's just hydrogen helium, mm -hmm. and then I think is yeah, then when it starts having eight. Yeah, each. then the metal starts. And yeah. so you have ten, eighteen, yeah. twenty-four. It would have to be the sixth group if there isn't any of the in between ones already in there. Yeah, uh, we'll get there later. I yeah. think I think that's the, uh, shock. <clears throat> shock. Uh, wow. Wow. Is it wow. World of Warcraft. No. Is it just all? But it's get, it gets green when it's correct, right? Yeah. yeah. That's, that's yeah. how it works. Okay, number three, Africa's longest river, though, is the is the uh, Nile. Uh, uh, number, it was like number three there. down. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's Nile. Ah, okay, so it comes green, so that's yeah. good. Birthday, Birthday party, party dessert. dessert. Cake? Seems like Is it, the yeah. element zinc? Well, now it would probably be, yeah. <laughs> that See, is, that's, that's, that's how how one of the main groups. That's though. how you do science. No, it's not. Uh, come computer font. Uh, Ariel. Oh yeah, it is. Man, we're getting the, the, the whole corner right away. Easy money. Uh, lively dance or lovely idiot. The dot. Oops, that does not. Dot. <laughs> it's a polka. Polka dots. What? Oh. Polka. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Oh, uh, two, two down is, is iron for sure now, right? Uh, two yes. down. Yeah, it looks like iron. Element number twenty-six. Yeah. Yeah. And this is part of phono uh, of a phonograph, a phonograph or, or compass. compass. Is a needle. Yeah. Uh, see, we got the corner. Got it. So walk on rolls. Walk on rolls. Walk on rolls. What? Uh, how about middle Mid school subject? Middle school subject. How about falling behind or to F fall behind? What? How about element number fifty? Was element fifty three letters? Huh. How about ancient Britain? Or uh, yeah. Britain. J someone. What? Element number 12. 12. Oh! See, all the highlighted ones are the elements, I think. Ah, okay. Can we figure that out, though? What's 12? Um, that would have to be the third yeah. of the second double... God. Uh, it's not alkali. Those are the... the Potassium? Third... I don't... Does that fit? No, it does fit, but it's not correct. Oh, fuck. I hate how you can't press <laughs> end and position one to, God damn it, JJ. to move in this um because I have to do mm -hmm. this then. Uh Jessica of Fantastic Four. That's some stuff you need to know. Um Right? Fantastic that sounds like superhero. I think. Yeah. Uh well it's not the superhero, so it's it's the actors in the movie. Oh, yeah, That's well it's still you see probably seen the movie, yeah. Uh -huh. no, not, so there you go. Element number 82, that one I cannot figure out, um, but this should be an earth alkali, and anyways, neckline shape, is it just V? Yeah. I didn't even see where it was, it was a three letter one. Yeah. Element number 53, <laughs> how about facial feature? Uh, lip? Sure. Which means that element 53 starts with I. By Iridium? Doesn't fit. No. no. Uh, let, let's just go when we have more stuff. Mm -hmm. Walk on rolls, we have uh, what confer on. knighthood onto. On. What, on, yeah. Knighthood on. Uh. Hip bones. Wait. It's not pelvic? I was about to say, doesn't, pelvis doesn't no, fit. Doesn't fit. Uh, NBA team, four letters. Heat. Heat, maybe, yeah. No. Nope. But that is an NBA team, if I'm that not mistaken. That is an NBA team, yeah. What's, what else is an NBA team with four letters? Maybe we know once we know the element. Uh, medicine container. Element number 86. <laughs> yeah. come on. Uh, cautioned. Cautioned. Strong wind. Like, well, the gust is not necessarily strong, is it? No. No. <clears throat> like a storm. But, yeah. It doesn't very good. K. 
Canadian neighbor? Can neighbor? I think that's what can stands for, right? We also have pasta sauce brand. <laughs> we have word of woe. Creme de la creme. De la, yeah. yeah. Of the. Means the best of the best in fancy French. Earth's center. Is that just the core? It's dumb. Industrious insect is a bee, probably. No, is it not? Is it an ant? Might be. Yeah. It has one of the two. That means that the medicine container is... Capillar? What? Capillar? Capillar? I think L. I. Capillar? No. Uh... We have the element already. The element so starts I, with I still. Some of, the, some of the ones down. I think there. I was gonna say. I think we're gonna go down first. Reverberate, echo. Yeah. Uh, group of two is a pair. It's not a pair. Apparently, it's not. Couple is two. Yeah. No. Uh, we have Greek letter. Well, that could be anything. Yeah. Uh, tallied a total. Blank mine Beatles song, three letters. We should know Beatles songs, you know. I was about to say, uh, that feels like something we should know. Yeah. Greek letter, three yeah. letters, great. Uh, Vio cheese, familiarly. What? Uh, mathematical subject? So, like algebra, but much, much shorter? Yeah. Trig? As in trigonometry? Yeah. That's dumb. Uh, New York. No, that's, a, that's legit. Yeah, but trig is... That's how people say it. Yeah, it's an, it, but it's an abbreviation. It doesn't never, never specify that. Yeah. Uh, not odd. <laughs> even. Uh, I can't even. Uh, can't even. Then, everyday article is V. And uh, before abbreviated... Before abbreviated? Well, abbreviation. It doesn't necessarily say oh, abbreviated. Okay. Roger's dancing partner. Oh, God. Who's Roger? I don't know. Element 18. That would have to be um, one of the gases, right? One of the uh, noble gases. It should be the is third it? noble gas. Is it? Might uh, be. Is it? Argon? Yep. Oh. See? Told you it's a noble gas. Got him. I do know my periodic table yeah. somewhat. A little bit, yeah. It's been a while, but seen it. Uh... Element number 108 Ooh. starts with an H. Yeah, that's one of the later Element ones. 11... Has an O as a second letter. Yeah. Sushi fish. I've eaten it before. You're eating sushi? Yeah. Don't know what fish mm -hmm. was. Is it like uh, fish with three letters? The only thing that comes to mind is yeah. No, it's the only fish fish with three letters. Yeah, that I, think, I think that makes sense to go. Uh, element 94, 94. Then we got element 10 down there, which should then be neon. Yeah. Again, noble gases. Correct. Um, cooking vessel. Pan. Director Ang Lee. Oops, that was. That uh, continental currency will be euro. Yeah. Uh, English boarding school. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, English boarding school. Et something. What is this? Uh, dynamic prefix arrow. Yeah. Uh, so it's eaten. Eton. Oh, eaten. Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. I've, I've heard of eaten before. What? Uh, maiden name indicator is Nurek. I thought it said Wait, what was it? What is it? What is the maiden name indicator again? Uh, the, the, e. Double E. Oh, that's what yeah. it was. It's uh, born in French. Sort... I read Madden for a second there. I got excited. Nothing. Sort or kind. Ilk. Yeah. Uh, employ. Use. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and then what, this one is a little longer. Uh, tally the oh, yeah, right. right. Yeah. And then we have its partner in Java. Uh, if's part in Java else. else. I knew that. I, mm -hmm. I, I speak I Java knew. fluently. Yes, you yeah. know that. I also knew that. Uh, barely managed without. We also have element 79, element 54. Lot of them. Sports venue. Is like an arena? Yeah. yeah. Uh, be noisy. We also have Shepherd of Parenthood. Dad. Nope. <laughs> what? Uh, bottom of the barrel residue. Letterman rival. 
who's a talk show host? I, Letterman is a wait. Letterman is a talk show, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's a dude, but you yeah. Know. yeah. Letterman Riley will um four letters and an E. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Organic chemistry suffix. Uh what do we know that right? And I was about to say we we'd probably heard it before for sure. Yeah. In addition, is it just add? No, it didn't think so. Additionally, what, yeah. what, what is in addition? Uh, also, um, organic chemistry. That's everything related to carbon. Yes, that's true. Oh, just, what's thirty six again? Uh, thirty six uh, down uh, across. Uh, thirty six across is before All right. abbreviated. Did we do these? Smallest unit of data in a computer is a bit. Mm. <clears throat> so we did not do these, which no. is maybe helpful. Right, that's kind of we did. All oh, right, that's literally the only one we didn't yeah. do, huh? Did we do these? Element tw- well, element twelve. That should be. All right. Ex- <clears throat> All right, that is the yeah the uh, yeah. category two um, magnesium. Yep, that's the one. Which still breaks up the question of walk on rules. Mm-hmm. Uh, Middle school subject ends with an A. Uh, fall behind ends with a G. Lag? Yes. Uh, element number 50 is three letters and ends with an N. Uh, three letters ends mm-hmm. with an... Did I say three? Uh, three letters ends with an N. That shouldn't Not be... that many. I was that? It shouldn't be too hard. But the problem is, if it was three letters starts with an N, Tint. and there was one, you would instantly know it. Yes. Uh, cut with a beam of light. Lays. Lays. Uh, so we didn't do the author weasel. Aladdin's monkey's abu. Uh, hydroelectric Pro- power Pro- is a project. project. Is a dam, right? Yeah. yeah. So then, what is what is this up here? Element lead. lead. Yeah. Got it. See, it would be a lot easier if they gave us the abbreviations because then yeah. it would just for every single element just know. Yeah, it. yeah exactly. But uh, the numbers. But that would be too easy though. Uh, what what is Jay's last name? Huh. Oh, is it? It's not, is it J or J? It the could be J. Is it the football player? A J? Just A J missing? No, there's a football player called J and J, but I don't think that's how he's but, spelled either. Uh, ancient Britain, Brighton, Britain. Then we have middle school subject, and then we have rock and roll. Subject. The element fifty three with an I is very likely one of the like the middle ones. There's way too many of those. Medicine container, we have confer knighthood on, hip bone. NBA team with a T at the second sec class letter. Now you should definitely know it, right? Yeah, I should, but damn. You know your National yeah. Basketball Association. Is it, is it, is it uh, an abbreviation again? Let me, let me just think. Got it. I knew, I knew the lady from yeah. Genesis. You know, the, the, the book. Oh, that's what that was. Okay, I didn't see that before. Uh, can I, I get the element didn't across see now? Before. What? Can I get the element across now? Well, it starts with an I, it ends with an E. It's, yeah. it's one of the lower ones. It's, um... There's four letters missing there, so it's six letters. I can't believe I'm not... I don't know the NBA team already. See, that would help a little bit with the element as well, potentially. Um, what else do we have? We have this entire corner still. So word of woe. Uh, maybe the across ones, maybe we can get those. Element uh, that ends with Don, by the way. Yeah. Five letters, that seems. 86. Uh, how do I not know an element where I have over half the letters? I don't know. We also have pasta sauce brand. Do the across ones, because we tried those already, and we haven't made any progress yet. Cautioned. Alerted. Fair enough. Uh, strong wind gale. Okay. Uh, and yeah, the can dot, which mm-hmm. may may or may not be Canadian and uh, neighbor. <laughs> uh, so the pasta sauce brand has AG in the middle, yeah. and the word of woe has LA in the middle. In the middle, as all words of woe have LA at their center. Of course. <laughs> Good shit. See, people in LA aren't happy. Yeah, is what I'm saying. No. Um. Pasta sauce brand. I feel like that's something that one should be able to yeah. know. 
try all um, try all vowels in the one next to it. Yeah, that seems like it have to be. A vowel. It doesn't. It doesn't confirm individual letters though. Is the problem? So or I would still have to it. still have to know this letter. But it would very likely have to be a vowel. Letter. Yeah, but again, it doesn't really help me. A group of two starts with a D. No, we didn't know that previously. Oh, the NBA team is the Nets, I think. N E T S. I know how to spell yeah. Nets. So that brings us a little closer with the element and yeah. the medicine container, uh, and Rogers dancing Parker. Element one hundred eight. Element eleven. Wait, eleven. That is uh, sodium. Right. So I didn't. I missed the sodium. There you go. See. Oh. I know my alkali metals. Yeah. That's, uh, I didn't even realize it was that one of those early ones. See, that's the thing. We, I think we completely skipped them. Summed. As in summed up. That's not the correct letter, but you know. Yeah. So we have all of this nonsense, uh, which means that this is not new, right? The noise of the M is new. Yeah. I, I don't get how we don't get the three letters... Where already you have, have to be Beatles vowels, song. right? How, how is that? there's so many Beatles songs? You always just come come across somebody you've never heard of. Element one eight. We have an extra letter for but that. Doesn't really help much. Um, element fifty four, seventy nine. Those are all very far down. Bottom of the barrel residue. Shepherd of parenthood. Uh, Letterman rival. Right. Talk shows. I know those. I know some of those. Um, Letterman is pretty old though. Um, organic chemistry suffix. I should know that. In addition. Yeah, the the chemistry suffix. We we gotta know this, man. New York Delhi order. Hmm? Before abbreviated or abbreviation, or whatever. Uh, group of two, and 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 starts with a D. What? A group of two. It yeah. ends and starts with a D. Oh, uh, what? That's... Greek letter ends with an I. I can just try like a uh, phi. Um. What else do we have? Pi is too short. Yeah. Um. Greek letters. Yeah. There isn't that many. No, right? there's not that many. Group of two would... Yeah. There's also a uh, coffee hole. Oh, wait. I, we, I really didn't uh, look at those before. And that's apparently one that I missed yeah. when going through it. So there's a cup. Duo. Duet. Duet. There's an E at the end. The, yeah, the try, letters try, letters. try letters. Try letters. Duo. I mean, it would have to likely be a vowel. Duet. Duet. What? Never heard of that. And then the element starts with an H A. Is Hassium a thing? Psi, by the way, was the uh, letter. Yeah. Hassium. I mean, I guess it's. Seems... I U M is very likely at the end, actually. Yeah. We could. We can then... assume that. A vowel. That doesn't really... St and that still doesn't... Anyway. Uh, be noisy. M-E. So that's new. Hmm. Um, the, the thing is, unless we get this one, like, all of those aren't gonna really yeah, be yeah, yeah, advanced yeah. either. Go to the left again, maybe. Uh, what, like, this corner? Yeah, yeah, this corner. Word of Woe and Pasta Sauce brand, as well as the Element and... Can neighbor. That's. There's also still this element. There is yeah the walk on rolls. There is the medicine container. There is confer knighthood on. Which I believe just dub. Is... Oh yeah right. I was about to say it's just tonight, but there's yeah. another word for it. Yeah, I dub the yeah. Yeah. Oh. Capsule. Yeah. Uh. Wait, is it? Iodine. 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 Yeah. It's all coming together. Then we have... 25 down, maybe? Mm, oh, cameos. 
Mm, okay, I see what. Middle school subject. I don't know ancient. Oh, Celt. Ah, yeah. uh, you're right. Yeah, they're British. And then, middle school J, subject uh, is, is it like. There, there's like we need one letter for both. Yeah, of we don't. We have no time. Twenty five down. Uh, twenty five down. Yeah, it's over. It's a hip bone. Yeah. Uh, so E L A apparently okay. is the a lie. Uh, Oh, yeah. Radon, Radon. Oh, Canadian Neighbors to USA. Oh, God. <laughs> right. That's that what they meant by sense. that. That's what they meant by that. Radon, yeah. That's yeah. a very well-known radioactive one. Xenon and Gold. Okay, Hero. I low-key oh. hate myself for not knowing the uh, element number of gold. Mm -hmm. Just, you know. Metal. Wait. That's what... Shepherd of... Okay. Bottom of the barrel residue is... Greg, yeah. Greg, yeah. I've heard of that before. Leno, okay. Leno I've heard, but wouldn't have... You know, yeah. And! We did not get... And! Really? <laughs> also, Parm. Uh, that's the cheese brand. So that's, that's abbreviation for Parmesan. Yeah. So that's, again, a weird abbreviation. Previous. For mm, the before yeah, pretty, abbreviation. Yeah. Um, yeah, damn. And Hero. Apparently. Speaking of abbreviations, got some coming up. But um, that's the halftime show. We did below average. Well, yeah, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> we don't, we're don't. we not very good at this, and we don't do crosswords other than on the podcast. But we'll try We'll try more. We'll do it more often. Hopefully, we'll get a little bit better at the end. But, I mean, there's still... Yeah. Uh, 17 more, because there's now 19 of them. I think it was less when we last did it. People are adding them faster than we're making them, which will be fantastic, by the way. Um, infinite amount of content. Oh, I, I would assume that maybe there's a new one every Sunday, since it's a Sunday crosswords. Oh, it might be. That's great, actually. That's perfect. That's what we need. Since we're doing them almost every week, we'll never catch up. Perfect. Amazing. So, uh, that's great. Also, um, we might not actually do them every yeah. single time. We definitely won't do them next time. No, nope, uh, because we got some special people know what it is um we have a fact of the week before we get into the second topic jj well um what is your fact of the week this is not going to interest you that much but i just want to right, point let out. me look at something else uh, are, you, are you talking to me or the people i'm talking to you oh it's not going to interest me okay maybe it will you don't know um so you know how we talked about like albums being released this year and all that yeah. nonsense well there is another album that is actually has been released this year the dead south sugar and joy has been released. One that you don't know about is the thing that you don't know about. I don't know the about The viewer may or may not know. And um, as a matter of fact, I know for a fact that we have a Swedish viewer who enjoys us talking about music. Uh, Hammerfall released I a new album. Morris. Shout out to Morris. Hammerfall released a new album titled Dominion. Hammerfall is also terrible. So yes, you're right. I don't really care about that. I actually haven't listened to any of the songs yet, but uh, yeah, they released a new album in August. Interesting. Um... Uh, I'm not even sure if I want to check it out anymore. I've listened to like 60 Amberfall songs. I haven't liked a single one. So what are the chances that I will end up liking one of them? I, I might I might give it a try, but I, I have I don't have high expectations. Uh, my fact of the week is a uh, <laughs> is way more interesting. I would argue. Uh, dogs always face north or south when they poop. <laughs> fact. Gee, the thing is, it's not that surprising. Based on the fact that a lot of animals have an instinctive sense of direction. Yeah. But it still brings up the question of why? why? <laughs> How, uh, this, like, was there ever a point in, in evolution where it was, like, an evolutionary benefit of a dog where they were less endangered when they were pooping north or south? I mean, I was about to say, first of all, of course, um, oh. we're talking about that, we're talking about wolves. Uh, yeah. That's where that probably yeah, yeah, still comes in, from. In far ancestry. <laughs> I don't know the qu the question is and you probably don't know this but no are there other mammals that may be somewhat closer uh, I don't that know too? that what I know is that we we don't know why they do it we know they do it we don't know why well I mean that means that the two of us are probably not gonna come up no with, we uh, don't want to come up with the, with the, the reason, reason. Um, the only thing that I can think of is that certain plants tend to grow in certain cardinal directions because of the Sun yeah and then the Sun itself but People think it has to do with magnetic fields. I mean, of course, uh, the fact that they recognize north mm -hmm. and south has to do with magnetic yeah. fields. That's what birds do. Um, but <laughs> I don't understand why it would be advantageous. No. But that's a fact. There you go. 
And you would assume that it would have to be advantageous because otherwise it seems random that it would have like developed as yeah. a categorical thing. Because if it's a trait that doesn't have an advantage or disadvantage inherently, it's not tied to any other traits, which it might be, yeah. uh, then you would assume that some have it, some don't have it because yeah. the chance of either one being passed down... Evolution doesn't eradicate it. Yeah. But that would either mean it just happens to be tied to something else. Interesting. It, it might be a side effect of something else. It might It might be. I don't know. It, it uh, just might be. That's what happens a lot with genes where it's like, this expression seems random, but it's tied to the same as something else that yeah. isn't advantageous, so that's how it stayed around. Maybe it was literally just uh, all dogs or wolves who had the uh, sense of magnetic fields would, for some reason, turn that way. I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe there was some, some uh, mutated ones that don't have it. And uh, and then they died out over evolution. Maybe that's some. I don't know. P- people, science doesn't know, so we are not going to discover that the reason for that. Um, how about we play the abbreviation game? The abbreviation game. Yeah. How do we come up with this? Do you explain what this is? I don't even remember exactly. I know we came up with it because like there's a bunch of random abbreviations and starting with US. Yes, basically. Right, the US so, ones, right. So the idea is we're going to USA, type... United States of America. USB, Universal Serial Bus. Yeah, USC, USC, University uh, of Southern California. Right. USC, United States, US, United States Dollar, Dollar. And so yeah. on and so on. So uh, we, we went with that. And now, well, but the idea is basically we're going to type in abbreviations, probably like three-letter abbreviations, that we don't even know. We're going to type in three random letters, guess what it stands for, and then I'm going to check what it stands for. So um, do you want to start? Sure. You can play along, by the way. Type it in the you want to type them in the comments, but it's, or just write it down or whatever. It's actually surprisingly hard to come up with these. By the way, mm-hmm. you just have to rename three random letters, but yeah. like half the time you subconsciously go to something that you know. Yeah, I know that's the thing. so. And then I always want to include like Y's and Z's because they're just rare, but that's also you just ends up being non like. You yeah, could, I know. There's there is definitely an abbreviation. Uh, yes, like I don't know for some reason something that came to my mind was L Y K. L Y K. Not sure if that stands for anything. I don't know. There's an, okay. L Y K. Let's think about it. It seems very random, right? Like, like what could that even stand for? Like, what does yeah. the Y stand for in particular? Mm-hmm. Uh, and K is actually not that common letter in the English language. No, either, it's not. So it's not. L Y K is interesting. Um, let's think. Hmm. L Y K is very tough. Could probably put some for L, but Y and K. Exactly. Hmm. Do you have an idea yourself? I know! <laughs> That's the thing, right? I, I literally just said three letters that came to mind. Right. And, and the, the, the really interesting question for me personally is how the fuck did those happen to just pop into my head right now? I don't even know. How about, <laughs> uh, no, that, that doesn't make sense. Damn. Most you of the, gotta find something that makes sense, too. See, mo- most of the stuff that can come up with that starts with a Y or a K are just places. Or names. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, you know? I always expect her to be, like, the name of a place there. Like, something that starts with Y, like, York. Yeah. Yorkshire. I was Yorkshire. I was I was thinking about something about Yorkshire. York. Uh, I mean Yorkshire is also a dog breed. It's not mm-hmm. just a place. I mean they are named after the place, but it's in this case for a lot of dogs. Yeah. Uh, K. Okay. Yeah. Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> Connecticut. Oh yeah. Sure. Kansas. Kansas. Yeah, maybe. But the thing is, if both Y and K are places, that seems very far-fetched. <laughs> Maybe there's a place called Yorkshire in Kansas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Um... I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> this is the thing, right? Like, so, someone in the comments will be like, oh yeah, like it's, I've had encountered this in the real life before. Yeah. Like This is what it stands for. Yeah. Actually, have I encountered this in the real life before? <laughs> oh, Lick. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think if there's like a logo that comes to mind or yeah. something. I don't know. Uh, do you want to maybe? I'm gonna look it up. I want to make yeah. a guess before though. So how about? I broke him. Oh no. Yeah. Uh... Hmm. Limit your knowledge. 
<laughs> it's some kind of company that uh, teaches you very specific stuff, and it's called Limit Your Knowledge. Sure. L Y Y K. And L Y K is uh, uh li- Lick Card. Thomas Cook Money? What? No, that that. Okay, okay. Let's look at the Urban Dictionary. This seems to be pretty rare. <laughs> oh boy. Uh, let you know. Alright, uh, sounds good. I'll L Y K. Oh, okay, yeah. Sure, Abbreviation let's... for. Well, let, let me actually uh... let, let you know. Interesting. Uh. Oh yeah, and it's a bastardization of the word like. Okay. Awesome. So this is already very rare, apparently. I, 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 I mean, know. it makes sense, right? Yeah. But yeah, the, the Thomas Cook LYK card, man, yep. that's... Uh, has something to do with travel, I think. Yeah, that's... Yeah, it's a credit card. God damn. All right, uh, d- yeah, let's do a different one. Um, how about... How about B... D... Z... Oh boy! Uh, no vowels inside. B D Z. Uh, hmm. Um. Z is a tough letter. Um. Mm-hmm, yeah. D is doable for. <laughs> um. For sure, as is B. Um. Stands for bring the zebras. <laughs> the the. I, I was the thing is I can't find something for the D for like stuff like like uh, uh because like the B is always like bank mm-hmm. off like yeah, that's always what yeah. it is and then Z is just like you know Zimbabwe yeah, or something Zimbabwe, but then some country. but then like what does the D stand yeah. for right because if it, if it was like a C then it would be like Central I want to look like, it up or you want to make a guess? East like Eastern and you know like, like, give me give me a guess give me a real guess and I'm gonna look it up um God damn it. Uh, I, I honestly I can't come up with anything that it's, that sounds coherent, you know, like because like, <laughs> okay, it's local language. It's the Bulgarian state railways, but in their language, it's apparently it's BDZ. Well, I obviously could come up with that. Yeah, I that's that's unfortunate. Okay, give me another one. Give me another one. Um, maybe a bit more simple one. I don't know. Let's go with. You know, let, let, let's go from no vowels to a lot of vowels, oh. like A L O. A L O. Again, I don't know how I came up with that. A L O. A L O. Hmm, that's a good one. How about alternate language association? <laughs> Wait, probably. association doesn't make sense. Organization no. is what I was looking for. Yeah. I think organization is probably correct. It's either organization or it's association of something. Yeah. That's, uh... I would, I would think it would have Association of learning online. I don't know. <laughs> sure. <laughs> um, I think organization is correct. American something organization. Those are popular words. Oh, yeah. American literature organization. American life organization. <laughs> oh, I don't know. Literature, maybe. Let's check. I mean, la- language also makes sense for sure, but those both are yeah. very closely related either way. Right. Lottery. Maybe lottery, actually. Now I think about it. American lottery association? Huh? Huh? American lottery? There's a lot of brands that are just called ALO. So I'm gonna mm. I'm gonna Google for abbreviation. Yeah, I guess I guess I kind of make made a problem just by having something that you could pronounce, you know? Yeah. The Animal Liberation Orchestra. It's a band. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. That's that's one. Let's and check let's check some more. See what we can. There's probably several ones that are reasonable at least. Uh, the architectural liaison office, the authorized level of organization. That's a military thing. Okay. Um, 
Advanced Logistics Center. Makes sense. Arm, uh, <laughs> Air, land, and ocean. Sure. <laughs> I mean... It's in, it's in the category miscellaneous unclassified. <laughs> so you can just say it whenever you want that. Like, yeah, that's great. Air, land, ocean. All life optimized. That's that sounds that sounds vaguely weird. dark. Yeah, that sounds weird. That sounds like that sounds like a fucking dystopian yeah, slogan. That, that, that sounds like uh, like brave, like the the slogan of Brave New World in, in Alice Huxley when they when they genetically modify all the humans. Yeah, right. Like something yeah. like that. Like that, that's what it sounds. <laughs> all like. life optimized. Yeah. All right. Um, another one. How about uh, how about uh, N A R. N A R N A R Non Autonomous Robot. Non Autonomous Robot. Which are the best kinds of yeah, robots. Yeah. I don't know. And there's that's just something that might just puzzle together yeah. there. Uh it could also always just be like North American something. Yeah. Um Probably, right? North American registration. Which tells you a whole a whole lot of nothing, basically, by the way. But that would be a thing, totally. It's, it's just the North American region. Maybe. <laughs> it might just be. North Atlantic rowboats, I don't know. Rowboats. <laughs> sure. North American rail. Is in the railroad. Oof, that, that, that actually that's sounds checked. way that's, too reasonable. That looks for real. N A R. Dude, it's the first thing that comes up nucleic acids research. Really? Hmm. New Apostolic Reformation. I'm going to look for. Oh boy! Yeah, I'm going to look for an abbreviation again because there got to be something more, no, no, more famous, right? Them Christians and their new yeah. apostle. <laughs> I assume it's a Christian thing. It sounds like a Christian thing. I'm, yeah. I'm sorry if uh, like it's not a Christian thing and someone's offended. I mean, people will be offended anyway. It might. It might be though. I don't know. It sounds like it a sounded Christian. like it for sure. Yeah. Yeah. North Carolina Association of Realtors. National Association of Realtors. Oh, National Association makes so much mm-hmm. sense. Yeah. Oh, it's just a lot of national associations. Yeah. yeah. All of pretty much anything that starts with a letter R. The North American Republic. Like, like the National Association of Radiologists. Yeah. Not at risk. Huh. Naval Air Reserve. Yeah. New Access Router. Huh. Numerical Analysis Research. And like a bunch more, by the way. That was only a couple of them. So there was a lot there. What What else do you have? Give me another one. Actually, uh, here's a fun one, okay? Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to name you one that I know is used. Oh. I'm going to just see if you know. You know what, what it's the... used for? Okay. Uh, and, uh, and I mean, we, we can still go to fantasy yeah, later, yeah. but uh, do you by any chance know what CMY stands for? CMY. Yes. Um, CMY. Uh, that is obviously, um, <laughs> see, because it, it's just out there enough that CMY, okay. that you might not know it, but yeah. it, but you've. Almost guaranteed encountered yeah. it before. It's a fun thing. That is the car manufacturing of Yugoslavia. <laughs> Obviously. Should I tell easy. you? Uh, yes. It's cyan, magenta, and yellow. And those oh, are the... okay. Those are the... Uh, print- it's a color scheme used in printers. Fair enough. I wasn't even thinking See, that. if I had said RGB, you would have known instantly what I'm talking yeah. about. It's red, green, and blue. Yeah. But CMY is just the counterpart to that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, CMY- CMYK. Is it... CMYK. It's cyan, magenta, yellow, and key. Um, yeah, it's a CMY. Yeah, but I, I'm pretty sure CMY just can also yeah. be used as is. Fair enough. Yeah, that, that is what but it yeah. is. But yeah. CMYK. Uh, yeah, CMYK for, uh, color model, yeah. Pretty, okay, fair enough. Pretty sure it can, can also just be appropriate as CMY. Uh, C, yeah. yeah. You got another one of those? The one that, that's being used that I might not know? Uh, do you by any chance know NAS? NAS. That's a bit more specific, but... Uh, That's North American something for sure. It could be, but it's not what I'm thinking of for sure. I know what the NSA is. Well, yes. NAS, um, As the National Security Agency. Yeah. Security. 
Uh, national <laughs> agency. <laughs> well, that's correct. Yeah, actually, no. yeah. Uh, <laughs> I know. I was just definitely is an agency. <laughs> um, NAS. Uh, I mean, it's North American something or National Association of something. I'm going to look it up. What What is it in your book? Network Access Storage. All right. It's you, just you really call it's just it, short for NASCAR too. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, usually, also oftentimes pronounced as NAS, but I wasn't gonna. Yeah. But you know, it, it makes it's, it's more. Familiar. Oh, NAS is also an American rapper. <laughs> Good to know. The more you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, NAS Investment Company is that's a thing. Okay. Right. And network attached storage. Yeah, network attached fine. storage. That's what it yeah. was. Okay, fair enough. I, I thought it was mm-hmm. access, but yeah, it's network yeah. storage. That's <laughs> it's yeah. it, it's the most common type of network storage. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, you got another one. Let me also take another one here. If you, I was about to say, if you want, you can also come, uh, give me one that I might that I may or may not know that is real. As okay. Well. I mean, this one is is real, but I'm not sure if it's the most used one. The W A R. That just that, that you're just spelling out the word war. No, no, W A R as an abbreviation. It's probably not the first one, but it's one that I know. It's, it's like the West African Republic or something. <laughs> Wait, there, there's... Is there? <laughs> no. South I'm Africa. Um, the... World Association of... Uh, rappers, I don't know. <laughs> rappers? <laughs> Dude, can you imagine one of their conferences? <laughs> that must be the sickest place to ever be. Uh, so apparently it's the wide wide area radio. Okay. It's the Washington Association of Realtors again, the weekly act- activity report. So there's a bunch of them. Uh let's check abbreviations.com. Sounds like a great website. Abbreviations. Yeah. Writing and reading. Yeah. <laughs> The white Aryan resistance. Oh, that's the one you were going for. <laughs> no, it's not the one. Oh, it's no. <laughs> we do not condone the white Aryan resistance. Thank you. They have you even read into what they are about? Don't just don't just go against them because of their name. I don't know, man. Histo- historical prejudices. I don't know. Uh, warriors and rogues. R- Never forget that the uh, the local refugee center is, is the 3K. <laughs> it's true. Oh, boy. That's, that's not a good one. Uh, web application resource. Huh. There's a whole lot of ones that are not the one I was thinking of, but wonderful and reliable. Uh, what I was thinking is a uh, wins above replacement, which is a stat in baseball. Oh, I think I've actually heard of that you, before, you probably have. in a John Boy's yeah. video. Yeah, but... you might have. You might have. Okay, you got one more? Um, let's see. I think the real ones are fun, but the thing is, it's hard to come up with ones that, like, you may or may mm-hmm. not know, because if you, I mean, yeah. even if the ones that you don't know, it. actually, um, you know what? Something that I just thought of when you said that, uh, when you said, when you read out some of the ones yeah. there, uh, there's also W-A-N. W-A-N? Yeah. It's actually quite similar to one of the ones that you read out okay. there. Um, is it just uh, a wireless access network or something? It's wide area network. Wide area network, sure. It's like, you know how LAN is the local area network? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, WAN is the wide area network, and MAN is the metropolitan area network. That makes sense. Um, just different network sizes. Yeah. How about the... Uh, how about the O O O to close it? Last one. The O O O. Yeah. Oh boy. Uh, it's the Ottawa Otter Association, not even association organization. Organization. Otter, I made a mistake Otters. earlier when I said association, but I meant organization. Yeah, yeah. Um, We're creating tongue cruises, by the way. The say that five times fast. The Ottawa Otter Organization. Ew. For all the otters in Ottawa. Organized. What do we got? <laughs> I'm just typing this in there. <laughs> is, is, that, is that a real thing or are you just... I made it up. I, I mean, I mean okay. I'll, I'll see if it stands for anything. I mean, it probably does. I mean, I know for a fact that like, something like AAA stands for something. I mean, AAA is a yeah. wrestling... Yeah. Is a, is, mm-hmm. a, is a Mexican wrestling... Uh, it's uh, Association... Yeah, something. Out of office. Oh, yeah. okay. Out of order probably too at some point. Yeah. OpenOffice.org, okay, yeah. Oh! Yeah, that makes sense, actually. LibreOffice, yay! Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, OpenOffice is not used mm-hmm. as much anymore, because it's just somewhat outdated. Yeah. But, um, 
obligatory other opinion. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> On site, off site, and offshore. Obs- <laughs> what? Oscurus Oblivion Overhaul. Who comes up with that? Order of operations. That makes sense. Oh yeah. That, that that's out of that order. That does make yeah. sense. One on one. Those make a lot of sense. Although stuff with single digit numbers, I would generally speaking abbreviate with the number rather than the letter. object oriented ontology. All right, fair enough. <laughs> Ob- object oriented stuff I've definitely had contact with, but usually mm-hmm. just object oriented programming. programming. Yeah, um, ontology too. Great. So that's that's abbreviations there. If you if you want, actually, we can ask if 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 anyone has a fun abbreviation that they Wait, know. Ontology isn't that the thing that they make in knowledge based systems? I think so. In which if it case, says same spelled the same way, I'm not sure. Yeah. In which case, it's I have also ontology. In which case, I've had contact with the concept of ontology mm-hmm. before, and object orientation. So I yeah, they could have. Okay. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah all, uh, right. Abbreviations, comments. Yeah. Drop some abbreviations in the comments, and maybe we can also make that in our Discord server. Um, if you want that as a topic, then we can guess your abbreviation. Exactly. Pick um, out ones that are specifically fun. In which case, we cool. could, if you post multiple abbreviations in the comments in the span of like say two weeks or something, well, like let's say one and a half weeks, yeah. then we could um do that on the podcast in two weeks. Maybe or one later, but a- anyway, let us know some abbrevi- if you get a- if you get a good list together, we're gonna do that again. So that. Also, they don't necessarily enough. have to be three letters. No. But, like, Doesn't don't have go... to be, but three letters make sense, but don't put, like, ten letters. I was about to say, don't go crazy and have, like, yeah. something that's, like, that's, that's, all sorts. Yeah, we're not doing that. But, uh... Like, two to five is probably fine. Yeah, that's, that's enough. So, let's get into the song of the week. Song of the song week. Song of the week. S-O-T-W, by the way. Yeah. That's how I write it down every single yeah. time, too. That's how I used to write it down. Like, I have literally written down F-O-T-W, Fact of the Week, and S-O-T-W Oof. for some reason. I don't week. write down which is the fact and which is the song, because I can tell them apart once I look at both. Yeah, but I don't have to read both to know <laughs> yeah. either. Fair enough. I always put the fact first in the song and sound order. Yeah, I know. I also have had facts about songs, in which case... Like, I, I've read literally um, yeah. on one of those pages where I was like, F-O-T-W, so I was like, what yeah. was the second take? Oh, yeah, right, it was. Fair enough. What's the song of the week? Which, in by fact, the way, it says song, right song here. Of the week. What? Uh, that that's from uh, I think that's uh, from the last uh, podcast we did with uh, two okay yeah videos. yeah fair enough uh, because I take notes fair enough because I'm a true professional I also take notes uh, my song of the week is Lola by the Kinks that's an old school song I know that's I've never liked it <laughs> sorry to break the atmosphere <laughs> I I might have it on my phone but it's never one that I like more. Uh, it, it, the the wins above replacement for that song is probably zero. Uh, I would be just as well off if I didn't know it. Um, of course, very yeah, important, no, very know. important mention the original version, mm-hmm. not the censored one. There's a censored one. Um, I met her in a club down in uh in yeah, what is it? Also in Australia, uh, in where you drink champagne and it tastes just like. And the original lyrics say Coca Cola. Mm-hmm. But that got them into trouble, so uh, really? the censored version says cherry cola. Because Re- apparently that's okay. Really? It just, the thing is, the, the difference actually is, like, I'm pretty sure appreciating the song doesn't differ depending on which version you listen to, but if you're used to one and you all of a sudden you hear the other, it just sounds weird. Come on. That's a, like, weird, yeah. that's a stupid censorship even, because it's, you dropped the name of a brand. Yes, and the brand didn't want that name to be Dude, dropped. A, a rapper would be mentioning guns and shootings like a hundred times in one song, and it's like, yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> but no, no, we got to censor a brand name. God damn it. Oh, um, yeah, so, the, so that was a fun fact that goes along with the song there. Right. Uh, yeah, my song of the week is uh, Basket Case by Green Day. Oh, yeah. Have you heard of that one? Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, I, I've, I've come to like that one more also. I want to say that might have been a song of the week of mine in the really? past. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't know. Maybe then it must have been before I even had it. That could very well be I the think, case. Because I haven't had it for as long as other Green Day songs, but it's pretty good. So there I've you had go. had it for a while now. It's my song of the week. I'm uh, I'm locking it out. There we go. So thank you everybody for watching. Drop a like on the video and support us a little bit. That will be uh, pretty swole. Uh, you can go join our Discord server. Link in the description. And subscribe to Trash Can TV as well as Trash Can TV too if you like to see World of... Warcraft, Adventures in the World, because JJ is getting out there into the world of Warcraft. Of Warcraft, yeah, for real. So, yeah, a lot of it, dude, the world of Warcraft is more interesting than the actual world. Yeah. Unpop- our slash unpopular opinion, it's true. I, th- I think it's true, it's, there's more stuff going on. 
actually not sure. There is a lot of stuff about the actual world that maybe most yeah. people don't even know. <clears throat> that's, is, that's true, yeah. There's a lot of interesting <clears throat> but stuff. But, like, more accessible to your hands right away. The yeah. world of Warcraft has uh, more stuff than the world. That the world is, of Warcraft is certainly yeah. interesting. It's, it's very interesting. So, drop a like. We're going to see you in the next one. And, uh, Jerry, today. That's it. That's it.